Toby Farrick, and this is the alpha demo of the active side stick, which is a force sensing and force feedback joystick. It improves upon a traditional passive side stick in a fly-by-wire aircraft by allowing force feedback back to the pilot depending on the flight conditions at any moment in time. So if the uh, aircraft is going fast, then it'll be harder to move the stick, and if the aircraft is going slower, it'll be a lot easier to move the stick around. Um, just as it would feel in a traditional mechanically linked uh, flight control system on an aircraft. So far this quarter, I've been able to research and purchase all the necessary components for the active sight stick. This includes the Arduino, two HX711 integrated circuits for measuring the differential voltage from the load cell, a Teensy Duino, um, two servos, one per axis, two potentiometers, also one per axis, and the load cell itself. Uh, I 3D modeled and printed the gimbal mechanism, which will allow two degrees of freedom movement for the side stick. Um, also printed the grip, which encapsulates the load cell and uh, transfers all the force to one position on the load cell and reducing the overall torque applied to it by the user. Uh, the potentiometers have been calibrated to read degrees of displacement from the center position and the load cell has been calibrated to read uh, force in ounce inches. Uh, all of this comes together when being used with a PID control, uh, which I developed a library for uh, on the Arduino. Um, so I have a basic control loop going right now with a P, uh, P control, and I'll be continuing into spring quarter developing the full PID control for the uh, active side stick system. So what I'll try to point out here is that um, the user isn't physically moving the gimbal mechanism. What is happening is the, the load cell is reading a force and commanding that position. So while it may look like and feel like you're moving the stick, you aren't actually moving the stick. Um, this allows the fundamental idea of the active side stick, which is force feedback. Um, so I'll demonstrate in the um, X direction here how this kind of works and the Y direction. You can kind of hear the steps happening um, within the servos and all of them together. So the further you get away from the center position, the harder it is to move the stick, the more force required before the servo will increase its position in degrees. And the servo, or the uh, side stick, will naturally hunt for the zero position based on the fact that there's no force present on the uh, grip itself. So this movement's gonna be improved going into spring quarter. I'm gonna try to get the PID control working with it um, and really smooth out some of the movements uh, with the servos as much as I can with the limitations uh, of these servos. spring quarter of 2017, I'd like to further improve the PID control library that I'm developing for the Arduino uh, to allow me to use at least PI control, if not the full PID control uh, with active side stick. I'd also like to incorporate the flight simulator, Prepare 3D, with the side stick to allow the full uh, force feedback concept to uh, come into light with the, this active side stick. 
So the Prepare 3D program will send flight simulation data to the Arduino, which will then be incorporated into the control loop or the PID um, algorithm to change the way that the user interacts with